Alright, 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 this is MC for Web3 TV and we are here at Sunnyside Dubai for the Blockchain Economy Summit and I have one of the speakers over here and he, he seems to be a very fun guy so I want to learn more about this guy so I want to so I want to know who you are, where you're from and what do you do sir? Okay, so I'm a blockchain economist and a financial advisor for blockchain projects and I think that's a very abstract concept to a lot of people but my background is actually in economics um, and then in traditional finance as an equity researcher and then corporate financier. And then I think increasingly, I think there's a, there's a need to adopt, uh, to actually apply traditional economics and conventional finance to the crypto industry. So that's what I've been um, lending my help to projects with. And right now there are two main things I'm working on. One is uh, I'm an expert fellow at the Center for Crypto Economics in Zurich. And what we do is we offer uh, typical economic consultancy advice, but for, uh, I suppose, what we think are the more credible projects in space. We've worked with Chainlink and Synthetix, amongst others. And I also personally advise a project called Wildchain, which is um, a project that won the top innovator award from the World Economic Forum. And what we do is we try to have a Web3 based play to impact model where we try to promote sustainability through engaging people with NFTs and tokens. No, no that, that's really fantastic. I, I, I love that you cover like you know the academic side of things, and you're trying to bring the traditional, connect the you know bridge the traditional finance to the crypto world. But I got to ask you uh, about you. So, what is your origin story into crypto? How did you find yourself in this crazy mix of crypto, Web three, and blockchain? Right. So in late 2015, and I'm almost embarrassed to tell this story publicly, late 2015, early 2016, one of my close friends came to me and he's like, hey, I've heard of this project called Ethereum. What do you think? You know, as a Cambridge graduate economist, what do you think of this project? Should I just go all in and buy a lot? So I told him, I was like, the idea sounds promising and I could see the application, but I would tell you to hedge your bets. Don't put all your eggs in this basket, maybe put in just a limited amount. He still hasn't forgiven me to this day, but um, but having said that, through that, I think both through investing uh, in a personal capacity, but also being introduced to, you know, one of the more credible projects today, if not the most credible project, it made me, I think, maybe ignore a lot of noise that came later. And from the beginning, I was like, hold on, this is something that could have great application in finance and also really transform a lot of other industries as well. So from then, I think I was at the bank then and I was uh, at Thailand's second largest bank and I was actually leading a lot of their financial research and financial modeling efforts. But it was more to do with, you know, interest rates and insurance and insure tech. And I had to petition my boss to actually let me write about ICOs, let me write about, you know, uh, proof of work, proof of stake. And then, you know, things kind of turned. By 2017, 2018, it became a very topical thing to talk about these things. And then it was like, Tan, can you talk about this for one of our clients? And then I think after a while, I decided to take a leap, take the plunge and, uh, you know, do it on the ecosystem builder side. So then I became the chief economist for one of the, uh, the biggest uh, digital assets platform in Thailand. And then um, around a year ago, I decided to leave so I can kind of focus more on my own independent work and also to work with more um, a diverse set of projects around the world. No, oh, no, wow, this is uh, really fascinating. Thank you for sharing your origin story. I think that's uh, really cool, and I can feel your friend's pain, I guess, <laughs> in a sense. But, but hey, I know, but, but joke aside, but at least, you know, the good thing is that you are in this space, and I think there is ample opportunity, ample room for people like you and many others too to bring your value into our ecosystem. So, I mean, what are your thoughts on, on, on that? Yeah, I think that. Uh, I, I was lucky enough to be introduced this early on, but I have uh, felt that I think a lot of the crypto community at some point, maybe a few years back, there was a lot of a tribalism where it's kind of like, hold on, this guy's from TradFi or, you know, this is a, you know, this is a government or, you know, a blue ship company wanting to do it. And I think, you know, that would be like me saying the internet is only for people who know how to code, for example. I think. You know, the whole point of a technology that's meant to be revolutionary, that's meant to transform society, is that at the end of the day, it works for people who can integrate with it directly, and people who only use the, you know, the technology and the blockchain is actually an invisible layer. So I think 
you know, it should be all encompassing and uh, something that, you know, encompasses the whole society. And that, that for me also extends to people building here. I actually do have a tiny bit of proficiency with code, not solidity, but I could do the other stuff. I think SQL, Python, but even then, at the end of the day, I would never call myself a coder. But having said that, I think as someone who is financially literate, someone who understands game theory, someone who could do financial modeling, there's still room for me to add value. Just like if you're an artist, if you're a coder, if you're a lawyer, you know, the blockchain uh, industry needs all those people. No, no, rightly said, rightly said. I think there's space for a lot of people. So um, just want to uh, bring it back uh, to you here in uh, Sunnyside, Dubai. So, um, so, so how, how do you like this event so far? And what are you excited for? What do you, uh, what, is there anything exciting you're looking out for? Uh, well, so far is actually my first time where I've been to Dubai and I've actually left the airport and I'm loving it so far because uh, right, I, I was born in England and I grew up in Thailand so I'm, I, I like the heat but I don't love the humidity and over here it's kind of hot and dry so I love it. People are friendly, the food's great and I think this conference is actually, there's a very high energy level and I think I expect it to build up, you know, up until uh, the finale tomorrow so I'm excited uh, for that. I think to meet like-minded individuals and also, uh, you know, for me going up as a panelist in an hour, I should probably go prepare, to be honest. All right. Hey, hey. I'll tell you, uh, I'll let you go quick. Hey, first of all, uh, thank you so much for your service to the Web3 space and great to have you and great to have you. So, hey fam, you heard it right here. Y'all be good. Y'all be safe. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.